Hello everyone, I'm Tuko and welcome back to another episode of the Dwarf Fortress War of the Ages series. So today, uh, where we last left off, we were starting our military. Uh, it didn't get very big. Uh, how many do people do we have in here? We got about four. And I was thinking of maybe adding a few more to this list. Uh, you know, four is fine. Actually, you know what? Four is fine for right now. We don't have too many people to spare uh, right at the moment. Yeah. How many, I want to know how many how many doors we got here. Uh, Z. Population 41. Let me see here. How many? Dwarven children 15. So that minus that. We got about 25, 26 dwarves. Uh, we can actually do stuff. New petition deny um so yeah it's not the best actually one of the things that i was planning on doing this episode was adding a tavern because by golly by golly i love my taverns <laughs> so uh we shall do destinations um up downstairs we should come over here go up and uh actually i'm going to change this priority one just because why the heck not just get that up there and then once we get up there we see what kind of uh, dirt we're working with what kind of stone then I'll develop the layout and again I don't want the square design I mean squares fine but I do really really like these um, temples I made these rounded structures they look amazing so I kind of want to do that with the tavern you know maybe round the edges off a little bit make it look kind of cool so other than that, oh yes, I forgot, last time we also discovered all of this beautiful, beautiful um, uh, dirt. So, what we shall do is we shall mine all of this out, all the way out to about there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I guess I can mine out more since these are tree roots, but that's fine for now. I just wanted to have a training area for dogs and whatnot, and also a pasture. And uh, so we can move our uh, animals in. That way we're a little bit more secure, uh, which, which again would be very nice to have. We do have the door, which is wonderful, and it is linked to the lever, which is great. So if any enemies do come, we can just close that off and everything outside will die, but we, uh, the rest of the fortress will live on nonetheless, which is <laughs> the, the ideal. Oh, and also we do have some more beds here. Uh, and so we shall make these bedrooms a sign and we shall give them to all of these guys who do not have a, a bedroom and let's see here we'll give it to the carpenter and the mutter I guess just carpenter <laughs> so we're just waiting for all these uh, haulers to get this all finished uh, we do have our miners digging away making some good good progress and they should also be finishing off this area here for the military I do want to finish that uh, quite soon here uh, so we can get our military again up and running however again we don't have a largest dwarven population for it at the moment uh, I think I'll get it started once we have or you know more more people drafted into the military once we have a population of eh, around about 50 adult dwarves 60 around, around that area right now we're we're about 25 so we we have about halfway to go till we reach that point which is fine you know we can go nice and easy <laughs> well, i do have a few dwarves training up and these guys initially in my military right now they will eventually become all my like uh, militia captains so this is the commander he will be in command of the northern or the north rocks for his career and the rest of these guys will get their own squad eventually but not at the moment that's why I have those four training right now well they aren't training right now they don't have a place to train unfortunately which is why I do need this dug out uh, quite quickly <laughs> indeed uh, other than that everyone is buried uh, food stores how are food stores going drink a little on them mm, not doing so hot but they are brewing drinks and meals so that is perfectly fine for the moment why is this music so loud I'm sure I turned it down let me check real quick here I did turn it down it sounds a bit loud to me I don't know why maybe I have my volume up high I probably do anyway we also have yes he is smelting it wonderful 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 and we got charcoal being made that is grand and what do we have anything here? We do! 
Copper bars, silver bars, copper bars, copper bars. Sweet. That is what I want to see. I want to start seeing some bars that we can make uh, different um, uh, places or different... Uh, oh, what do you call it? Oh, there, are there not doors here yet? Did I not get doors? Shoot. I need doors now. These dwarves I, I assigned these places to are going to get pretty upset all right so let's <laughs> let's get these doors in but but yes uh i cannot wait to start uh smithing or yeah, i guess smithing forging that's a better word forging some weapons and also some uh armor as well we'll make the, the armor out of copper because you can't make silver silver armor unfortunately uh so it will be a lower tier armor uh for starting off until we get to adamantine adamantine uh but for the most part for the most part uh copper should be enough for this initial start and so far we've had a pretty good start other than that uh, absolutely disastrous attack and oh they mined this out wonderful so now what we are going to do is uh gonna make designation and we're gonna make it animals come all the way to about there we'll make this whole well you know what let's split it so we're gonna exit here. We're gonna remove this stuff. Oop, I missed a, I missed a spot. All right, so that should be good. And what are we where are we assign? Oh, this is stockpile. Oop, my bad. All right, so let's get rid of these stockpiles. I meant zones. I need zones. That's I. <laughs> wrong, wrong key binding. All right, so exit. Oh, wrong exit. Hit I, and we shall make an activity right here. Boom. And I'm trying to think here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this area here. And then with this one, we are going to make this a pen pasture. Uh, that should be good. I don't know if you need, if you can just use stone for animal training, because if you can, I'll just do that. Actually, yeah. Let's make this whole thing a massive pen, uh, because well, we're gonna need a pen. Um, so let's enter there, come here, no, not remove, enter. There we go. Make this also a pen pasture. Uh, set preferences. Alright, so what we want in here is we want a horse, uh, Kita, I don't even know what that is, piglet, hen, alpaca, oh, not, not the hen, not the hen, good grief, no. Uh, we want... Not the goose. Bull, yeah. Keat, I don't even know what that is. So, yeah. A lamb, of course. Uh, water buffalo, yep. Peacock, I suppose. Guinea fowl, I think, is what that was. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to put an alpaca in there. The rest of the bulls. Another lamb. It's quite nice. Um, guinea hen, no. Uh, horse, yep. Yak. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got? I think that's it. Oh, do I have... I have these hens selected. I don't want those hens selected. Oh. All right. So they should be all be good. Uh, oh, and let me also. Well. Hmm. That might be a lot of animals for one place. So let's uh, get rid of some of these here. Let's get rid of about half of them. There we go. And then we're going to do the pen pasture for this area here. I know I could just... Actually, you know what? That, that's that's pretty much the easiest way to do it. Let's just remove all this ever so quickly. Ever so quickly. Come on, come on. There we go. And then get rid of the exit. And we'll move this all over to about there. Is this a whole different one? No, it's not. All right, so pen pasture, set uh, preferences. I'll go through here real quick. Oh, not hen. Not the hen. I keep hitting the hen. <laughs> Alright, so up. Oh, down one. Need the alpaca. Bull. Keat, I suppose. Oh, forgot the lamb. And then we need the water buffalo. I was going to put the peacock in there. Guinea fowl. Uh, don't really need that. Alpaca, bull, bull, lamb. Up we go. And then I suppose we'll put the horse in there. Another yak bull. Which is good. And that looks about it. Alright, sweet. So that pen pasture is done, and whoever is an animal trainer should should 
uh, bring all the animals over into their pen area. Now, have I disabled this yet? It's, it's slated for removal. It hasn't been removed yet. The wagon. That thing is old. Must be rusting. <laughs> Probably. I'd guess. All right. So we also we're also going to bring this uh, stretching over here quite a ways, honestly, because I do need more farms. I mean, that farm is producing quite a lot, but it would be nice to have some more. Okay. So good. We do have some nice stone up here. I like that a lot. So I don't know what design I'm going to go for with this tavern. I really don't know. Uh, what seems best? I mean, we could do a circle, like another ellipse or something like that. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this. Um, I really don't. What if we made it like a multiple taverns? Like, it's just like a whole... Yeah, let's do that. Let's just have it like a tavern street, if you will. <laughs> just like a massive area of taverns. Gonna have some big ones. Gonna have some small ones. It's just gonna be all wacky and crazy. And we're gonna actually have some curving curves here. Like so. It's gonna be attached like that there. We're gonna remove these here. Oh, I did not remove that. <laughs> And we're gonna move the edges. Uh, that is not. Oh boy, that is not. Definitely not. There we go. That's a lot better. Oh, but then this is off. Shocks. Well, then we gotta move this over. Yeah. Gotta move this over one. Alright, so we're gonna put that there. And then we're gonna bring this over like so. Put that in there. And that there. And then we're gonna. That's the middle. Sweet. All right, so, well, looks kind of weird now. Talk better? <laughs> not really. Yeah, not really. What I can do is I can remove this. All right, so this is an ellipse. This one's an ellipse. Next one over is going to be a square. I know it's going to be like really um, weird for some people who uh, want things absolutely perfect, but I don't know. I, I kind of want to have some fun with this one. We're gonna have like a little more room coming in here. Actually, that that does look <laughs> really weird. All right, no, I'm not doing that. Yuck. And actually, I don't. I, I want the one thing with the doors. Well, you know what? Yeah. Let's go with just one thing. Sure. All right, and this one is going to have like a little kitchen. Well, these all should have a little kitchen, shouldn't they? Uh, so we'll go about three, four crossed come over uh, we'll do the entire back because the entire back will be uh, also having some storage for some foods and whatnot and then like the entrance will be like right there I guess yeah it looks good all right and then this place will have like a little kitchen off the side here I suppose yeah have like a little kitchen one two three four pop note like that we're gonna have it attached like that Oh, I did not want that. Oops, that was wrong. <laughs> All right, so I guess we could just stop it for those two taverns right now. But honestly, I want to make like a really, I want to make like a really nice one. So this is going to be like a little storage area for like coats and hats. No, just kidding. I'm not going to do that. All right, so let's actually extend this. Make this one big. I'm going to make this one big. This is going to be the biggest tavern of all. Uh, and there's going to be a huge kitchen right out over here like that and then it'll get attached like that and there'll even be like a little cooler area for like the foods like right here and it'll come like so and then we'll have like bedrooms attached to this guy too yeah i think that'll look real nice all right so but first let's connect this stuff and after i make this one i'll let it run and our dwarves can build and, and whatnot. So, uh, how am I going to do this? Actually, you know what? It's going to extend down this way. It's going to extend down this way. So, there's going to be a hallway. Um, how long? How big do we want this? I'm guessing three. Like that. That looks weird. That looks really weird. That looks really, really wrong. Alright, so. Uh, move this over here. And that should look a lot better. All right, that looks better. Well, you know what, it's fine, it's fine. Actually, that's not very fine. 
let's just get rid of this whole arm here and we'll attach it in the back we'll attach it in the back so right here oh you know what we could have stairs going up yeah let's do that so where should we have stairs we should have stairs uh let me see here we'll do i for stairs up downstairs and it'll be Oh, right here, I suppose. No, we're going up. So, we wouldn't have one there. No. Exit those. I don't want those there. Um, uh, no, D mine. No. Get rid of these and turn these to priority one because why not? And then we're moving up and it's going to be I and enter and we're going over three and up three. And then from here, we're going to have whole room extending up there and then we're gonna have rooms just like we have downstairs in our dwarven dorms dwarven dorms all right and well actually you know what let's make these kind of nice let's make these kind of nice rooms because you know they're this is a you know it's a it's a tavern they, they want their they want their guests to come back <laughs> they want their guests to come back and because of that they, they have some nicer rooms then all the dwarves combined, you know, they, they have a lot of nicer rooms. They're basically living like nobles <laughs> right now, or at least whoever's staying in these rooms. And hopefully I get some gold for this, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, probably not. But we can mint our, our own gold with uh, the gold coins, or well, not with the gold coins, with gold ore that we have been mining so furiously in uh, these past few episodes well past few the entirety of the season we've been mining tons and tons of gold and that looks good for now so we'll wait for our dwarves to finish that all off actually I, this is really bothering me there we go that's better <laughs> so this looks really weird and strange but honestly i, I i'm gonna have some fun with it because <laughs> all the all the forces that i've done before i basically made them in the exact same way every single time and it's getting quite boring so i kind of want to change it up and what is this guy doing I saw the confused sign. <laughs> He's probably confused about everything. All right, but what have we got going on here? So you guys need to mine this out. What do we got? It should be mining this out. It should be. Um, anyone mining up here? What are our dwarves doing at the moment? Uh, one's digging, no job, eat. All right, that's no good. What, what else we have? Okay, so a lot of them are sleeping at the moment. Whoa, it's like everyone just decided to take a nap. Hey, look at that. A human caravan has arrived. Nice, 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 nice. That is good news. That is very good news, as a matter of fact. Where's my fortress? There it is. <laughs> I couldn't find it. All right. Uh, ooh, we can make a bedroom here. A sign. And down. Um, oh. All right, I wanted to go the other way, but I guess we'll go this way. It's fine. Minor and the surgeon. So we have everyone covered by now, except for a few of the children, which, like I said, you can... they're fine <laughs> sleeping on the ground, I suppose. Oh, their wagons have bypassed your inaccessible site. What? I'm confused. Where are these guys? Oh, wait, what? Uh, okay, um, there they are. They should be able to get in my fortress. They should be able to. Actually, I'm like 100% certain because I've had already other uh, other people come in. All right, so uh, trader requested. Only broker may trade. Yep, yep. All right, so they're all coming and we should have everyone bringing all these mugs up here. Man, I hate it that they're just lying around. I like it better when they're in bins. Do we have people producing bins? We better. We do, but they aren't at it right now, which is really weird, but all right, that's fine. All right, so we do have the broker here, and let us move goods. And we will move, um, let's see here. We are gonna move mugs and goblets. Shift enter everything, literally. Oh wait, what? What the heck? I'm really confused. What just happened there? I don't even know. All right, this is really weird. All right, so I'm just gonna go through here and get all these mugs pending, because we're gonna need a lot of them if we're trading with the humans, because they're gonna have some useful stuff, unlike the elves. Elves, elf caravans absolutely stink. 
and I do not care if they're my enemies or not because like I said their goods are really really poor however the humans are usually pretty good they usually have some nice copper stuff maybe a few steel and iron iron weapons in there you know so I'll see what they have usually they have like I said some good uh, goods to trade and they definitely like uh, dwarven make stuff or dwarven made stuff uh, shoot there we go that's better <laughs> but we got a lot of mugs I didn't realize how much we had this is insane how many pages is this probably like I don't even know how many <laughs> that's insane how many uh, different different mugs we have this is this is crazy all right um, <laughs> Let's get all of these because I really want to trade. I, like I said, I do want to trade. Oh, wait a minute. I can just do this. You got to be kidding me. I didn't know I could do that. I'm totally going to do that from now on. Let's just. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. So if I hit shift. It'll just go. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know I could do that. I was doing it the hard way. This is so much easier. Oh, yeah, that's easier. I don't even care if I missed a few. That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Well, you learn something new every day, I suppose. <laughs> that is sweet. I didn't know that. That is really cool. All right, so hopefully all of our dwarves uh, trade at depot, bring item to depot. All right, so all of our dwarves, or most of them at least, are bringing items uh, to the depot, which is very good. Hey, is that our surgeon? We actually have to do something about this. Uh, where is it? What the heck is that? A troglodyte? Who fought it off? I don't even know. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoever did is a boss. But we do need this finished. Uh, so actually, before we do anything else, I do want this priority one at the moment and we are gonna bring this over I do need this all dug up because this is my hospital and I do need that up and running if we are going to start a war with the elves which is what we are most definitely going to do now the humans should be arriving very shortly I do not see them yet but they are on top of our hill yeah it's a hill it's not a mountain unfortunately <laughs> but they should be arriving then we'll do some wonderful trading and hopefully yeah there they are and hopefully we'll find some really cool stuff I really hope so. <laughs> we should at least uh, find something useful for us. Uh, maybe a pickaxe? Yeah, an extra pickaxe isn't bad. Lamb is starving. Well, too bad. <laughs> too bad, I suppose. That's so sad. But there really isn't much I can do about that. And plus, I don't do a whole lot with the animals, really. I mean, usually they just pour into here and just die. That's usually what happens. Which is really sad, and honestly, Let's do something about that. So, but this guy should be doing something about that. Oh, he's an animal trainer. All right. So I'm going to take this guy off of everything and he should do animal care and bring them to the pastures so that they can actually finally eat. <laughs> uh, so hopefully that happens. I don't know. They should, they should do that. All right. So they have arrived, I think. Can I, can I trade? No, I can't trade yet. They're still offloading, uh, but they should fairly soon excuse me uh, offload everything not yet all right not yet come on hurry up how many mugs have we moved oh we barely made a dent <laughs> we're still oh my goodness we're still taken out from these places that's insane oh my word see it's nice when you have a bin that you can just take them all out of but this is insane. We're going to be over flooded with mugs. I might want to stop production. <laughs> Just so that we don't get uh, overrun by mugs. Might be a wise choice. Why are you moving that there? Who are you? Who are you? I don't even know who you are. Deller, get back up to the surface. Trader requested. Did I? No, trader requested. Come on, get back up top. Oh, maybe he was thirsty. That was probably it. He's probably thirsty. All right, that's fine. Uh, just as long as he gets to the surface pretty quickly here. So we shouldn't have enough mugs by now to start trading. Whoa, did you see that guy? That guy was flying. You are a fast metalsmith, dude. Look at him go. He is just sprinting everywhere. I wonder why. I don't even know why. Why does he have no job? Do you still have no job? No job? Dodoke. 
Dodok, where are you? Dodok. Metal Smith Extraordinaire. All right, that's where you are. You are going to do some item hauling. For sure. <laughs> Get on that, Mr. Item Hauler. All right, we don't want any idlers. Who is idling? The Metal Smith. All right, so hopefully he isn't idling anymore since I put him on item haul. So hopefully that is not the case. Uh, case. Where are you? You're sleeping. All right, well, that that's just wonderful. <laughs> Why are you sleeping? Get back up here. You're supposed to make some trades. Uh, well, I hope he finishes soon. <laughs> All right. So that is really annoying. Um, as always, it's always annoying that your dwarves just fall asleep and don't tend to their duties, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so how are my how are my engravers doing? I want to see what uh, skill level they are at this moment. All right, so we have a level one. Who are you? Okay, you're my cook. All right, so we have a few level ones and some level zeros. All right, so very poor in um, in um, engraving at the moment, which is very unfortunate. But <gasps> taken by mood. Ooh, Shorest, you are Shorest. Peculiarly secretiveness, or or whatever. Uh, he's claimed a carpenter's workshop. So, what do you need? Pictures of forest and pictures of rough gems. Pictures of a quarry. Pictures of a sack cloth. Well, what are you saying? I'm doing fine. Okay. Well, what do you need? What's he like? Dreams of making crest. Yeah, you're gonna make a masterwork someday. That's very certain. Uh, what is he like? Uh, he likes nickel, ash wood. Well, I guess we'll just wait and see what he see what he says. I don't think he's designed anything yet. All right, now now it looks like he's he's hauling stuff over. Well, that's good at least. All right, so is Deller up yet? He's still sleeping. All right. So I guess we'll continue to wait until Doran wakes up because until he wakes up, we aren't going to finish this trade, which is really unfortunate because I wanted to get to it and get some awesome things going. Oh man, it looks like the troglodyte is starting to stink up everything. <laughs> Diorite and pearwood logs. Mm, that's not a combination, but I hope I hope he does. I hope he does well. What do you need? What do you need, dude? Uh, it doesn't really say what he needs. I got caught in miasma. How disgusting. All right, cool. Yeah, miasma is really annoying. Uh, definitely in, in any fortress, it's super annoying. But hopefully they can remove that troglodyte. It looks like they have. They just need to clean up the blood. Which is kind of unfortunate. They still have to clean up the blood. But that will finish relatively soon. <laughs> relatively soon. Right, so at the moment, everyone, I mean, when I when I mean everyone, I mean everyone's bringing item to depot. <gasps> yes, broker's awake. Get to the trade depot. Come on, let's go. I want to trade. I want to trade. Let's go. <laughs> it's taking so darn long. All right, where is he? Come on, show your face. Looks like the humans have some pretty good, uh, some pretty good stuff. Looks like they got some mushrooms, some rope, some diamonds, some caged animals. I mean, they got some nice stuff. Hurry up, come on. We got some nice stuff to trade. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, how's our wealth doing? Oh, we need a broker with an appraisal skill. Well, that stinks. He's not going to get an appraisal skill for, for very long. Well, for it's going to take him a while, basically. <laughs> uh, attributes. That's where we're going to find. No, not attributes. Other skills, there we go. Deller. Right? Well, he's a dabbling appraiser. Hopefully after this trade, he can finally become a proper appraiser <laughs> I hope because uh, it's definitely it's definitely um, not good at all if if you don't have an appraiser all right so sweet so let's just trade everything which is quite wonderful that I can do oh wait I don't think we have enough um, wait a minute he has the appraiser skill what, what are you talking about value Oof. 3,000. All right, so let's see what they have. Uh, just see what they have. 
They have some tin bars, zinc bars, blower, boring, 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 cat, boring. Iron pick? Yeah. Copper halberd? Maybe. I don't think so, though. Um, some gloves? Okay, all right. Some wool? I could go with some wool and some hemp cloth. Yeah, yeah. All right, I could go for some cloth, you know, or drawers are eventually going to run out of, you know, the clothes are eventually going to fall off, so you're going to need to replace them. All right, so we got some food, too. All right. Love intestines and some weird stuff. I, I don't even know what the heck it is. Pig cheese? Hmm. All right, so I think I overreacted. It looks like the humans don't really have much. Um, I don't know. Yeah, they really don't have much. Let me see here. What what do I need? What can I get? A bronze shield? As I'd rather produce my own stuff. Hmm. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll just take all their wood. Or not their wood. All their cloth. So. Let's just take all their cloth. And leather, too. Well. We have to make sure that their profit is better. So... Well, let's just wait. Let's just wait a little bit longer to, to get some more uh, mugs in here. And then we'll trade and we'll get ourselves some fancy schmancy um, cloth. <laughs> we'll get ourselves some cloth. Because uh, that would be very nice to get, I must admit. And also, we're going to need some more um, crafting benches. Or just more crafting benches. We're going to need some more uh, workshops uh, very soon here. And those workshops... Actually, what do we got going on here? Uh, just a few. Alright, so... But what we will need, again, is, is more workshops. So... Well, I'm not going to do that this episode. Next episode, we'll get to building some more workshops. Some leatherworks, cloth... Um... We're getting ashery up and going, a farm workshop. I normally don't work with fishery workers, so I'm not going to put a fishery up. However, everything else, I believe I will get nonetheless. All right, so let us trade everything and see what we can get for it now because it's been a little bit of time. All right, so an extra 700. That's, that's fine. All right, so let's go up here and we shall get ourselves some cloth um, and hopefully hopefully I have enough money for all of this I don't think I have enough money for everything unfortunately but that is that is quite alright um, I don't need everything <laughs> I do need leather leather would be nice and some cloth we want the traders profit to be quite high but not you know we don't, we don't want too high you know um, their profit should be around 50% so I'll just grab that and then let's trade a trade yes ah wonderful thank you for your business wonderful so we just traded with the human uh, civilizations they will be a good ally in the coming war uh, so we do want to be on their good side and always trade with them and be quite friendly and give them uh, some extra trade goods which is what we just did <laughs> uh, so we did uh, acquire some nice cloth which is very wonderful. Uh, and the rest of the fortress is doing quite well at the moment. Um, ooh, and even a mysterious construction, <coughs> uh, construction <laughs> has been started by our good, our good friend Shorast, which is quite wonderful. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Dwarf Fortress War of the Ages. I hope you guys really enjoyed, and if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'm Tuco. God bless, and I'll see you all next time.